uh, Houston. Right now, y'all know the Houston Rockets are in a 2-2 tie-up with OKC at the moment. If Houston does not come out of this series victorious and they'll lose in the first round to Oklahoma City, do you guys believe that the Houston Rockets should trade James Harden? Who go first? All right. I think I'll go first. Okay. Uh, how long has James Harden been in Houston now? What, six? Six seasons now? Five, six, maybe. And how many times have he been to the Western Conference Finals in Houston? I think once or twice. Western Conference Finals? He's been there once or twice, hasn't he? No. He hasn't made it to the Western Conference Finals. I don't believe so. I think it's about time it's it's about time to either get rid of Mike D'Antoni or it's about time to rebuild once again. I think oh, it's I right. think it's time. It might be time for James Harden to go. Okay. I don't I don't, I don't, I don't know about <laughs> that one, I'm, man. I don't know. I mean I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm like, what more? Like what 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 else? Like we, he would have. You, they went small ball now, and now look, you're going against OKC. You're going against one of your old teammates and Chris Paul. They have a three headed monster in the in the guard rotation with Chris Paul, Shad Gillis Alexander, Dennis Schroeder. I mean, those three guys alone are averaging twenty points, fifteen or more points a game in this playoff series right now. Does OKC have anyone to stop this? I mean, does Houston have anyone to stop this? James Harden, we know James Harden is not a defensive player. And Brody is hurt. Russell Westbrook is not playing right now. Who else on this Houston Rockets team can help them advance besides James Harden? Well, I mean, they got plenty. If you done, if you done, you done. I'll, t- I'll say my sp- <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. All right. All right. Done. Well, I, well, personally, me, um, <laughs> If we being real here, James Harden is probably a top three scorer of all time in the NBA. And well, that's just a fact. And that's just a yeah. fact. And if you want to revolve, if we want to really look at the Houston Rockets, they're a great basketball team in terms of offensive playing. And I feel like PJ Tucker has been great for the Houston Rockets. I feel like a bunch has been great for the Houston Rockets. Austin Rivers has been great for the Houston Rockets. And do yeah. we yeah. make a decision? Do we make a decision on the Houston Rockets? With their second best player injured, we look at we look at the 76ers and they have no Ben Simmons. They get swept. Do I think they probably lost that anyway? Yes, but can you judge a team off of an injured star, their second best star, their heart and soul? I mean, the guy who was literally going to run up and down the court all the time. I'm not judging the Houston Rockets this year if Brody doesn't come back. I'm not judging them off that. I'm not crucifying James Harden, who has been the icon for the Houston Rockets. You know what I'm saying? So I think. I'm not gonna yeah, count get James Harden out, and um, I'm also not gonna, I'm not gonna be mad at James Harden. I mean, at the end of the day, being the only guy who could really create on a basketball court at once is a hard task. Look at Luca; he's been do- it's been a hard task for him. Did he win some games? Yes, but it's a hard task. And and Chris Paul is no pushover. Shy Gillings is no pushover. All them guys, okay, see, no pushover. So a team of all these guys, of course. But what I'm saying with James Harden is, if you're gonna blame anybody. In a situation like this, it's the coach. It's the coach, plain and simple. Because when you look at it, James Harden is playing the basketball game. He's playing the game of basketball to the best of his ability. He doesn't have a co-star right now. And at the end of the day, in the NBA right now, it's a duos league. If you don't got your partner, you ain't doing nothing. I don't care if you LeBron. I don't care if you KD. I don't care if you Giannis. If you don't got your sidekick or your duo, you're not doing nothing. And, I don't, and that doesn't matter. With any playoff team, you're not doing nothing for the most part. Unless you're playing the Magic. And so I think you can't judge James Harden with this series. And so I think I think if you're gonna blame anybody, it's been Dan Tony who's been running the same offense for about a decade with the Suns and the Rockets in New York. And the Knicks. Yeah, in, in yeah. New York. He's been doing the same offense and it hasn't worked. Now, do I think he's done something different with the Rockets that could potentially get them to a championship? Yes. Is it a home run shot? Yes. But you could blame Dan Tony for this. And I'm cool with that. But do okay. not blame James Harden who's doing literally putting the team on his back. Okay, so do you do you think they might have do you think they might feel sorry for getting rid of Clint Capella? No, I I don't think at all because when you look at it, it it made everything happen for the Houston Rockets. If they didn't if they didn't get Clint Capella, 
I feel like they'd be down three one right now. Well, maybe it'd be different right now with with no Russell Westbrook because there's nobody driving to the paint. But when you look at the way the Houston Rockets are constructed, Russell, look look at the Sixers. They need that paint unclogged for them to be successful. The Houston Rockets play five out, plain and simple, and they have a James Harden is between the legs, two legs drive, pass out or lay up. And if you have a big old seven footer in the in the in the paint. James Harden can't be efficient, and neither can Russell Westbrook, who shoots a pull-up mid-range every now and then, who can't really shoot the three. He has to go to the paint. So we got two guys crashing, and one guy just standing there with his hands up. It's not efficient. So I think that was needed. spread the floor. James Harden okay. can do his thing. I think that was needed. Okay. Okay, so what about this, then? Who has a better series against the Lakers? Okay, see you Houston. Houston. Houston with Russell Westbrook? Will he play? If Russell Westbrook plays, I, I bet my I bet my dice on uh, Houston Rockets with playoff experience rather than a young OKC with the only person with playoff experience who's never won a championship, Chris Paul. I'm taking the Houston Rockets all day. James uh, James Harden has literally been in this position. Now, is he a choke? Yeah, you can give him that label. But he's been in that position, and he's the type of guy who could put up 100 points. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the next person to put up 100 points is James Harden. So if I'm going to roll with anybody, it'd be James Harden and a team that can shoot threes and can get hot at any point. The way that the, the way that Thunder play, they have to be on the same plane to beat a team. They're not going to be able to beat nobody better than them the way they play. They got to be on the same plane. They're on the same plane as the Rockets right now with no Russell Westbrook. The Rockets, just like the Mavs, have the ability to beat anybody because they can shoot three ball consistently. Okay. Any okay. argument, Jr. So you still, do you, Jr. Do you still feel like Houston should trade? Uh, I, I mean, okay, I agree with Jamar. Okay, we if if you want to keep James Harden, you got to rebuild around him. You got to have some more players. You got to have more active shooters around him. He cannot be the only shooter. He cannot right. be the only ball. He cannot be the only person that's carrying the, that carrying the ball up down the court. That's he true. cannot be the last guy to have the ball in his hand. He do got to be the last guy. I, okay, I give you that. He can't be the last guy, but he cannot be the he cannot be the only guy that's having a higher shooter percentage than more mm -hmm. than the rest of the team. He needs more help. So if that's the case, the front office has to get rid of Mike D'Antoni. How about bringing a guy in like Mark Jackson? Mm. Mark ah. Jackson is a great coach. You seen what he did? He built coach. Golden State up to where they are. <laughs> I feel you. And uh, I also, even with my opinion, was saying if you had to blame anybody, be the coach. But at the same time, I think really Mike D'Antoni has the best offense possible for James Harden. He's given him the best offense. I don't know if anybody else could get the best out of James Harden because literally D'Antoni has it made for James Harden. I feel like somebody else is going to come in there and try some other. I don't think there's any other way to play with James Harden. <laughs> it's the Harden show. I mean, if you're it's a shooter, show. you're going to D'Antoni. You're going to love Mike D'Antoni. If you're a shooter and you like the ball in your hand, you're going to love Mike D'Antoni. But right. and if you want to ring, Mike D'Antoni is not a good coach for you. Because what? So, so tell me, wins championships. So, so tell me how you how you play Harden then. Because I, I feel like Harden is the most efficient scorer from the step back. Harden does everything from isolation. How else do you play with James Harden? He ain't a six man no more. How else do you play with James Harden? Uh, I mean... That is hard because you don't. I, that's that's it. That's the only way. That's that is his only way. The only other way I've seen James Harden play was before they traded Clint Capella when they were doing a lot of high screening roles. Yep, that was it. I mean, that's and, 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 and that and Russell Westbrook. It's a lot more one on one play. It's a lot more ice, it's way more ISO. Mm -hmm. That's that's all it is now. I mean, if, if, if they want to get to the next step, you got to get rid of you got to get rid of Mike D'Antoni. I don't. I, I this is actually gonna go back on my opinion. I don't think they should train James Harden. But my opinion is, if you can get rid of D'Antoni, you might as well get rid of James Harden because I believe <laughs> if you have James, if you have, I'm not saying that I agree with Jr. What I'm saying is, I feel like D'Antoni is the only person <laughs> hey, that can bring see? out the best. <laughs> I feel like D'Antoni is the only person that can bring out the best in James Harden. And I feel like the only way James Harden is ever wherever he is. He has to be that guy. At this point in his career, as what he's shown, he can't go nowhere and be no second fiddle. So he has to be that number one guy, isolating. Can't really have like a, a forward, like a Paul George next to him because I feel like he has to be do ball dominant. And guys like that need the ball too. So I feel like, I feel like this is the only spot James Harden could 
Gruden with a Mike D'Antoni offense. And so if you were to get rid of Mike D'Antoni, do I believe anybody else could do the job Mike D'Antoni has done? No. So I feel like might as well get rid of James Harden and be OKC number two and have a bunch of guys that are kind of <laughs> good. So I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Well. As y'all see, we pretty much all kind of up in the wind. We don't think James Harden should go anywhere, but we know if he do go any go anywhere else besides Houston Rockets, that may be the end of the Houston Rockets for a few years to come. Okay, okay. So where do you guys see James James Harden going though? If if he did leave, if he was to leave Houston, where we where we where would he fit? You know where he fit? I get, I give you a perfect place where he fit right now. Where? The New York Knicks they put on a show in Madison Square Garden. That's the only play, place I see where and he can be free. No playoffs. That's the only place. No playoffs. He can get an AC. He no get an playoffs. AC. Let me see. Mr. Robinson, he get an AC. The East is, the East is pretty – it's getting ch- kind of challenging. Yeah. He would have the to East go to the East for sure. I don't see him going anywhere in the West. He yeah. would definitely have to go somewhere in the East, somewhere that, that he can just make it his own team. Or at least he can, he can be, you know – he can co-host with another superstar, a team that's lacking a second superstar. So, like a, uh, like a Indiana. I was just about to say that, Indiana. I was going to say Indiana, but not because of Victor Oladipo, because of Miles Turner, because he's a pop-out big. So I feel like if you do run up the, the uh, you know, the high screen and roll. Hart has the option to shoot, or if he drives and he and he draws that attention, he can pop it out to his big. And which in Houston cases. P.J. Tucker, but in this case, it'll be a natural big Miles Turner who can actually shoot the three ball. Or you know, this it can Milwaukee. this can be scary. Yeah, yeah, Milwaukee. I was about to say Milwaukee. That can be scary. <laughs> that, that, oh, that would be scary though. Oh no, Trey Middleton. It'd be Chris. Yeah, uh, Trey what's his Middleton. name? Chris, Chris. But uh, what's, who they traded for? James Harden with the Rockets last time. They traded uh, Kevin Martin all over again. Little shooter. Yeah, just like they did with the Rockets. But we'll yeah. see. We'll yeah, see. Let's we'll we'll nice we'll we'll stop playing. That will yeah. be nice, though. As y'all know, James Harden, he won't be going anywhere. We just got to stay tuned to see what the Rockets are going to be able to do in this playoff series. Yeah, James Harden became a Houstonian now. Yeah, he's, he's there. Peace. 